What is Shilitla? What is Shilitla? That is, a, I mean, that's maybe like the hardest question. Personally, I think that you could describe Hilitla as a video game, but maybe that's just a joke. Hilitla was meant as an interface to show videoscapes in. Videoscapes started out as a um, kind of basic technological inquiry or basic glitch research, but it grew more into material research. It's about the dynamic qualities that emerge from an interplay between a text and its physical artifacts and the interpretive activities of readers and writers. Videoscapes is maybe best understood as um, research based on the work by the Canadian composer Murray Schaefer. Shaver did research into the audience's listening capabilities and he tried to teach them what it means to listen. He believed that although human beings don't have earlids, the conventions through which we approach the sounds have become some form of earlids themselves, because we use them as a filter. He did this by playing the sounds from behind um, a black veil, from instruments that the audience didn't know, so the audience could really only approach the sound by really listen again. I kind of see glitch art, or the kind of audiovisual glitch art that I've made for the videoscapes, as an analogy on this practice of deep listening. But the stupid thing that I did was I made all these critical videos and then I embedded them in all these conventional YouTube and Vimeo interfaces. So I had all these critical videos for the videoscapes that were supposed to make it possible to deep listen via a black veil of glitch, but then I played them in conventional players such as YouTube and Vimeo and it just transformed into cliché video art. So Heritla is kind of the outcome of me trying to build an interface to play all these videos not in a traditional online player kind of in an awkward environment mm, also to would be i think interesting for everybody to know about the what Chilitla is uh, oh, and how so you transformed it you know the, yeah okay we go yeah. there so Chilitla Helitla is a little uh, village. Uh, it took me 10 hours to get there with this bus. And you go from the desert and it changes quite dramatically. Suddenly you're in the rainforest or like a tropical forest. And there's this park made by Edward James. He went to Mexico and he built his life work, which is this surrealist uh, environment with these concrete architectural things. These are photos of um, Helitla. So you have all these like weird, uh, concrete structures with staircases that go to nowhere. So I used all these kind of art architectural artifacts also in the video game. So I was interested really you to see what you think about this new work being a tool or a space, mm. uh, having before worked more maybe with a more representative or re aesthetics of representation where, where you were performing uh, more a live film or you were putting out a video mm -hmm. on the web. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you're working on a piece of art or when you're starting a theoretical question, you grow into it and you write about it, you research and it develops and sometimes the beginning question is not per se the end question. I think that's really okay, that is nice. But that is the background of this and maybe I can come back to it. I think 
um, the work that I've done for Videoscapes has moved from an interface for a video to a performance tool. And now it's kind of a bastard. It's kind of moved into negotiating what is a video game. There's definitely game elements to what Helitla is right now, but both Wired Germany and the Dutch Game Fund have written that it's not really a video game. To me, kind of brings the magic back to the material of a video game. It's in between these spaces. Helitla is beyond the resolution of a video interface. And as Wired wrote, as a video game, it's a failure. <laughs> 